Hi, I'm Red. You're watching Gravy Built. Today, we're doing a quick little job, putting a uh, new steering wheel quick release on my Civic. I've been kind of procrastinating on this for a while. You know, I've had the factory steering wheel with no airbag. Um, you know, Honda had a recall on the airbags, and they hit me up, and they really wanted to get it done, obviously, but I was like, well, I don't need it, so if you guys want it, you're going to have to buy it. So we came to an agreement, and they ended up paying me for it, so it's gone. So today we're going to put this on the car, I'm going to give you guys some uh, tips and tricks um, from what I know and uh, hopefully it will work out good for you guys too if you ever decide to put a quick release. Okay so in order to put one of these on your car you need three components. You need the hub that fits your specific vehicle right here. This goes on the splines for the steering. Okay quick release which you actually don't need a quick release you can just put the steering wheel straight onto the hub so here let me open this up for you guys so, got a quick release if you squeeze it it comes undone and it only goes back in uh, one way and they make all different kinds and then we got the steering wheel Ooh, this one's nice. What do you think, Nelson? Looks legit. Very nice. Ooh la la. Leather. This is the one that I wanted. This is what I picked. They also have this version, like, more dished, but I didn't really like that. I'm pretty tall anyway, so... Uh, I don't need a long steering wheel to, to, to grab, so... Yeah. So, those are the three components that you're going to need. And, uh, yeah, we just have to put them together in the right uh, orientation. Now, one thing that's very important, um, and I've had this issue with some other customers where they bought the wrong hub. You know, they have these hubs where they have like metal on the back where the wire can touch for the horn. But the thing is, is these types of cars have what's called a uh, clock spring where there's wires in there that create a connection that can spin. So this is the hub that you want for uh, this type of vehicle. It's like a 131. I'm not sure. Um, you guys can look it up. So the clock spring goes in the back and then it has an opening for the wires to fish through. So you can have your horn and everything work properly. The kind that has a little um, uh, piece on the back uh, for the wire is for like an EF, like a much older Civic. Um, but the EFs never had an airbag. That's why you have the clock spring. So we're going to get all this stuff and we're going to throw it in the car and show you guys how it looks. All right, so like I said, the airbag is already removed. There's two uh, Torx T30s. You take those out through the hole and then the airbag just comes out. And then, like I said, it has the airbag. So you just unplug that. You squeeze it this way, it'll come right off. And then also too, what I do need to retain is the horn. So as you can see, the steering wheel is a little offset. My steering is not straight. So the, st the car itself is straight. The steering wheel is not. So I'm going to take it off like this and I'm going to put the quick release straight on and then the steering will be straight. This one's a 19. I have a couple of different sizes. So just pop this thing loose. Okay. Do not take it off all the way. Okay. Now the way I get the steering wheel off is I grab it and I rock it back and forth. And then there you go. And be careful not to pull it off all the way because you can actually pull the clock spring apart. And we want to reuse the clock spring. So there we go. Steering wheel is off. And then this goes straight. So now that we have these components off, we got to start with the first piece. Like I said, the quick release. Um, we're not going to be using this airbag. So we're just going to like wrap it around. But the piece for the horn is going to go through. So I don't remember. Oh, yeah, there's not that much room here. So yeah, maybe I have to push it through. And then I'll just sit in that little cavity, I think. Maybe I'll just chomp it off. What do you think, Nelson? Think we should cut it? I mean, if you're not using it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Just leave it inside the inside the crevice for now. 
Yeah, you actually have some pieces on the back that line up. And then also too, the white dot goes up. And there's a dot on the other component. And then just tighten this thing on. It said to torque it, so torque it. You know, I can just take it off later if I feel like it and just deal with it. So, yeah. So I'm just gonna shove this in here. And then if we put this on here, I think the horn will honk. See? Yep. So we're gonna make that connection further down in the steering wheel. So, now we have the hub. Now we need the quick release, okay? So, in order to do the quick release, I'm gonna have to let it go. And as you can see, I have the two little contacts. So it goes like this. And remember that dot, there's also a dot right here. So the dot's supposed to go up. So on the back side of this, we connect one to the factory horn, and then the other one to the quick release that creates a ground. So when the wire for the horn is grounded, then uh, it honks. Yeah. Oh, you know, I forgot the screws. I'm gonna go grab those real quick. Okay, so just take all this junk, shove it in there, and then go with the screws. It actually does come with an Allen, which is pretty nice. So. Yeah, I got my, my screwdriver with my Allen bit. Okay, so that's all on. Then comes the quick release. See? It only goes one way. The dot is still pointing up. So now, time for the steering wheel. Comes with this little... Comes with this little holder thing. I don't know what this crap is. Okay. And it has some nuts. Alright, so... Gotta hold this, hold this bad boy up. You gotta connect these connections with the horn. Simple. I mean, male, female. You can't, you can't screw it up. And it doesn't really matter. These don't have a polarity. So fold those in. Put this little, this little horn button right here. Make sure you guys line it up. Because it's not gonna it's not gonna self-center it. Okay. And then just throw a couple of these bad boys in there. Center this thing up. Ooh, the horn works. <laughs> it's live. Yeah, the thing is, it works. Gotta have that horn to honk at stupid people for doing stupid things on the road. So let's get these get these bad boys cinched down. It's pretty level. I can always mess with it later if I need to. So just tight, tighten it all the way up. Make sure these screws are tight. You don't want these things coming loose when you're driving. I've actually had to put Loctite on some other customers. So, let's see. So you guys know the horn works. That's an important one. And then I'll test the quick release real quick. Uh, the reason for the quick release steering wheels is if you have racing seats, it just makes it easier to get in and out. I do plan on having some, so I do want this. So there we go, works good. And then comes off, no problem. And then there you go, it only attaches one way. So 
if you put it on crooked, it's not going to attach. And then you spin it. So. Super easy. Real nice steering wheel. So, yeah, this will be good. And it's not too far from here. And I didn't want the real dished one because I just didn't like how far it was. So, it's actually perfect for the shifter. So, there you guys go. I hope I uh, gave you guys some good information so you can make the right purchase when uh, getting a quick release. Um, that's what I know about these. So, hopefully it'll work out for you guys too. Um, you can. They also do make kits uh, to add like your cruise control stuff that actually goes behind here. So it goes below this plate and it has the cruise control buttons. But this car doesn't have cruise control, so don't need it. And then uh, next time, you know, we're going to be working on the EM2 on the engine. Uh, I know it's been a long time. Um, I was really excited once I put the sequential in. But I've been having problems with my engine harness and just testing different things. Uh, so I think I hurt one of my pistons. So the next video, we're going to uh, diagnose that and pull the engine out and we're going to fix it. So like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.